I could always be charged with murder. And if there were sufficient evidence, then I could very easily be thrown in jail. You see it all the time. It's not just the TV shows, but in real life. But my parents were both medical professionals, sort of going back to the beginning, your first question. And they believed that the body, uh, the body dies and that's it. Um, not a lot, of, there wasn't a bunch of religious prohibition to this sort of thing in, in our household. And um, my mother had just started to be affected by Alzheimer's. Out, out of the clear blue sky, he discovered that he had cancer all through his body. From about the moment that I came on board with my father to do what he was planning to do, and we, we did, to the aftermath of my mother was approximately nine months. And I think to myself sometimes that that's maybe the most funky gestation period uh, that it has ever been. It took a long, long, long time for her to, to lapse in, from sleep into a deeper sleep and then for the ultimate sleep to happen. And, and so it was very nerve wracking for me. Um, as time went on, it was, you know, morning, <laughs> morning is coming. It was a nightmare and it was the kind of thing that uh, no one ever should have to experience, which is part of the reason I wrote the book, part of the reason my mother wanted me to write the book, because we had talked about it, my writing about these experiences, uh, so that no one will ever have to go through what I went through ever again. As someone famously asked me, uh, are you saying that people should take the law into their own hands and, and break the law, ignore the law? And my answer is, I think that people shouldn't have to break the law. I think people should work to change the laws so that no one ever has to go through what I went through ever again.